Hi, Sheldon. Hello. Welcome to Seattle. <laughs> Thank you. I can now smell the spices right off the bat. Yeah, this is a Jabina market where we sell most of our spices for others to take home and make their own. Martha emigrated at a young age to support her siblings back in Ethiopia. Now Menge, the youngest of them, is by her side. Together they co-own Jabena Cafe, which has become the hub of a growing Ethiopian community in North Seattle, offering authentic Ethiopian cuisine through their restaurant and their grocery store next door. The main ingredient to make injera, Ethiopian bread, is uh -huh. called the tea flour, the tiniest grain in the world. Here is your starter. It is the yeast. Uh, we call it ersho. So this is a batter that you, you make ahead yes. and you pull from it That's as right. you need it, like a sourdough. Yeah. Is this something that everybody makes it at home? Or everybody. That, that? You eat everything with injera bread. Uh -huh. And uh, the next process is called absi. We're gonna take from the same ingredient after two days or three days, and then we're gonna mix up with the hot water. That's gonna go add up to the one you already ready and rised up. Love how it gets flavored by its own self. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 